hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of b if we have b cubed minus b square is equals to 4 and we solve this problem for all the values of b you see here this is a cubic equation or third order equation it means that this equation has three roots and now here we will find all the roots of this equation so the very first thing we are going to do is first we need to focus into the right hand side if you see in the left hand side we have this is b cubed minus b square so we convert in the right hand side into the form of cube and square for this we need to break this 4 as in the form of 8 minus 4 we know that 8 minus 4 becomes here 4 Further, uh, we need to write 8 and 4 into the prime factors form and we know that uh, here our uh, we write this 8 as 2 cubed minus we write this 4 as 2 squared. So further in the next step we need to move these two terms from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as b cubed minus b squared. This is plus 2 cubed becomes minus 2 cubed this is minus 2 square becomes plus 2 square and this whole equation is equals to 0. So here uh, we need to make the pair of cubic term with cubic term and the square term with square term. So it will be written as b cubed minus 2 cubed and here we need to take common negative sign and we get b square minus 2 square and this whole equation is equals to 0. Further, uh, here we need uh, the nice two formulas. One is cubic formula and the other is square formula in order to solve this equation. So first we use here the cubic formula. You know that if we have a cubed minus b cubed is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square. And here in the second term, we use the square identity. You know that a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so uh, here uh, first we use the cubic formula into the first term and after applying the uh, cubic formula on here it will be written as this is b cubed minus 2 cubed we have a minus b so here our a is b and b is 2 it will becomes b minus 2 times of uh, this is a square a is b square plus a b so a is b and b is 2 plus b square and minus here in the second term we use this nice formula on this term and after applying this it will be written as uh, b minus 2 times of b plus 2 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here both of these terms involve b minus 2 it means that b minus 2 be the common term so that when we will take common b minus 2 we get the remaining values are here we get b square plus here this is 2 times of b plus this 2 square equals to 4 minus when we take common b minus 2 from here we get b plus 2 only and here this negative sign is multiplied on both of these two values and it will becomes minus b minus 2 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step we have this is b minus 2 times of b square plus this is 2b and minus b is equals to b and this 4 minus 2 becomes here plus 2 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and uh, further now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write b minus 2 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write b square plus b plus 2 is equals to 0 so from first case we easily get the value of b is equals to 2 so this is the first real solution of the given equation and now here in order to find the other solutions we need to solve this quadratic equation we know that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first one is by applying the quadratic formula second one is completing square and the third one is factorization method so now here i can use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation uh, so for this first we write the coefficients of this equation 
and its coefficients are capital A is equals to 1, capital B is equals to 1 and capital C is equals to 2. And we state the quadratic formula as B is equals to minus B plus minus square root of B square minus 4 times of AC divided by 2 times of A. This is our quadratic formula and now here we need to substitute the values of a, b and c here. So this will be written as b is equals to minus b, the value of b is minus 1 plus minus square root of b square, so b is 1 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 2 and it is divided by 2 times of a, so here our a is equals to 1. And, and now further in the next step we have this is minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 square and 1 square becomes 1 minus 4 times 2 becomes 8 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2. And now here in the next step we need to simplify the terms and it will be written as b is equals to minus 1 plus minus square root of this is 1 minus 8 and 1 minus 8 becomes minus 7 and it is divided by 2. So here we need to uh, apply the square root separately on both of these values and when we apply the square root uh, on minus 1 or 7 it will be written as minus 1 plus minus square root of 7 into square root of minus 1 divided by 2. So further in the next step we have b is equals to minus 1 plus minus square root of 7 into minus 1 square root is equals to iota and it is divided by 2. So you see here uh, these are the two complex roots of the given equation and finally we have the three roots of the given equation are first root is b1 equals to 2, second root is b2 is equals to minus 1 plus square root of 7 into iota divided by 2, the third root is b3 is equals to minus 1 minus square root of 7 iota and it is divided by 2. So these are the three roots of the given equation uh, and uh, you see here uh, in uh, solution we have one be the real root and the other two are complex roots of the given equation. This is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.